Hi, it's Jeff Brown with the Level 5 Tech Tip. We're here today looking at the uh, tail section of our Honda HPD LMP2 car. Um, there's a lot of aerodynamic devices on this tail that have a large influence on the performance of the car. The first one you'll see is this uh, fin here, which is required by the rules makers from a safety standpoint. If the car should turn sideways, it will basically act as a big spoiler to keep the car on the ground. So that's required by the rules. Over here, we have the air intake for the turbocharger. The air comes in here at high speed, ram air effect into the turbo to help uh, increase, increase power of the engine. Next, we have the brake cooling duct right here. You can see it's blanked off. About half of the uh, opening is blanked off. This is what keeps the carbon brakes at the rear cool by a air effect into the ducting of the, of the brakes. This little bubble here is where the exhaust comes out from, from the turbocharger and just flows back along the car and joins the airflow as smoothly as possible. One of the things that a lot of people don't get to see is how much aerodynamics are underneath these cars. You see the wings and you see the, the nose and things like that, but let's look at the bottom of, an, of the nose of our car here. This is where a lot of it happens that nobody sees. You can see the leading edge of the nose is right down here. The air flows on this curved surface, producing a low pressure area under the, under the nose. You can see a similar curved surface in the central section of the nose as well to produce downforce. It goes to the details, small details, such as this curly cue here right on the edge. That actually produces quite a bit of downforce and most people don't get to see it. So next time you're looking at these cars, remember how important the underside is. We can even do similar things at the back of the car. Let's go look at the, at the floor of the back of the car underneath the engine. That's right here. And you'll see a similar cutouts that do the same thing as, as we just saw in the nose. You'll see the, the air will flow here in a flat surface but then there's this small diffuser area here, which again produces a suction under the car, helping keep the car attached to the racetrack. And that's the goal here at, with these cars, is to make as much downforce as possible. Most of it happens under the car where no one sees it.